Hello there. Hello. It's my son's birthday, and I wanted to buy him a comic book. He only wanted money, but he really loves this stuff, and it just doesn't seem like a birthday if there's nothing to open. Do you work here? I have the con. Oh, great. So, uh, do you have any suggestions? You know, something nice, like $20? Well, if you're looking for a $20 comic book, you're in the league for Mr. Incredible. Uh, I don't think he's ready for that. And for only $20? Have you lost your mind? Hey, you guys shut up. No, tell me about him. Oh, well, he's incredible. He's a rock star by day and a superhero by night. He can shoot flames out of his eyes and melt his enemies' brains with his mind. Yeah, yeah I think I read that one. Sir, there is no Mr. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then, then, uh, Sir, the Middle Earthling is for clientele sophisticated enough to appreciate cinematic drawing and nonlinear storytelling. And I can see by your office drone shirt that you're not a serious graphic novel collector. Is the new metamorpho in? Yes, Ricky, right away. Well, wait, wait, hey, I Excuse was... me, I'm helping a customer. How did comic book shopping go? Bad. Just out of my depth. Look, we both hoped it wouldn't come to this, but you know what we have to do. Hal, we promised ourselves we wouldn't. What other choice do we have? Isn't this interesting? Once more, I'm the only person that can help you. I'm your best friend when you need someone to pick up your mail or sit on a suitcase. But when it's time for a barbecue, I have to watch from the car. I gotta tell you, Hal, this beer is tasting mighty bitter. I'll take another. Are you going to help me or not? I will help you. But one day, and that day may never come, I will ask you to perform a service for me. Actually, it'll be tomorrow. I'll be here about 10, and if it's nice, wear a bathing suit. All right. Two scoops. Fudge ripple. Now are we going to the comic book store? Patience, Luke. You are reckless. We've gone to the beach. We've gone to the movies. I won you an animal at the church bazaar. We've gone out for coffee, lunch, slushies, pie. I can't negotiate unless I'm firing on all cylinders. Just how many cylinders do you have? Pull over. No, you're right. I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Pull over. Oh, Craig, I am not pulling over. Just let me out of the car. Craig, I am not stopping this car. All right, all right. Calm down. You are going to have to learn how to get along without Craig Feldspar. My ducky. Uh, yes, I'm looking for a serious graphic novel with uh, cinematic drawings and uh, neat linear storytelling. Were you in here the other day? No, I don't. Okay, look. I I just want to buy a present for my son, okay? I don't think that's a crime. As I see it, my only crime is not knowing as much as you. <sighs> Look, you all have parents, don't you? I am appealing to you as decent human beings to help me give my son a happy birthday. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I guess we did kind of get off on the wrong foot. We all got to start somewhere. This one's called Dead Man's Shoes. Huh. It's 50 bucks. Ooh. It's all about alienation. I think you saw it really like it. Thank you. Not so fast. The transaction does not concern you, Feldspar. That's Craig Feldspar. He's a level 45 dungeon master. What cereal box did you shake this out of, Dean? It's the first print. It's totally collectible. Oh, should we check the Overstreet? Wait, we don't have to. 1997, first and only printing. 50,000 returns, all in circulation. I'd keep this in my bathroom, but not for reading. This isn't a comic book store, it's a novelty shop. Oh, really? Well, I'd like to see the novelty shop that carries an original Spider-Man number 14 with the first appearance of the Green Goblin. You're kidding. And if you change to a more respectful tone, it just might like... What are you doing? Fear not. It is the 1993 reprint. If it had been an original, he would have thrown himself in front of it. Dude, you told me that was real. Now, let's talk business. <laughs> Craig, I can't thank you enough. That was fantastic. You were so heroic. I like to think we all have a little bit of Aquaman right here. Well, I must say, you really know your stuff. 
I'm impressed. Well, you know, if you're interested, there is a convention next Saturday. I have a life, Craig. 